Hey guys, Patton here with another request for Will It Run on the SNES Classic. This request comes from Crazy Fiend and Windsweep. They want to know if Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time Arcade will run on the SNES Classic. So uh, let's go through our steps here. We need to add the game first. So add more games. This is a list of all the arcade games I've been working on. See, I have not been slacking. Just a little late on getting the videos out. You know, real life business and work and things like that. So here's the game we're looking for. TMNT22PU. <clears throat> and I can guarantee that if you put that in a search engine, you will get exactly what you're looking for. There is a literal paradise of emulation out there. So, TMNT 22PU, that's Turtles 2, two player US version. Hit open, you're going to get a big list of files here, just import as archive. There they are, they are processed, TMNT 22PU. Let's rename it to something more attractive. Actually, we're, we're going to shorten that. TMNT Turtles in Time Arcade. So by renaming it, <clears throat> you can then Google search for some box art. First one is usually a pretty good one. We're going to go with that. All right, so we have our game, we have our box art. The modules. Um, with all this testing I've been doing, I found there's only two arcade modules that have worked for me really well. And neither of those modules come with hack cheese, so I'm going to provide those for you. They're going to be in the description. I'll give you a link. Um, it's FBA Alpha 2012 and MAME 2010. And to install those, you go to Modules, Install Extra Modules, and you see I have them already here, Alpha 2012, MAME 2010. You're going to take those modules and just drag them into this screen right here. It'll add them. Make sure they're checked off, then hit OK. And it'll ask you to hold the reset button, hold the reset button, excuse me, while you turn on the SNES Classic. And then it's going to flash a custom kernel over, and then it'll say OK, all set. So, but to get them to run straight from those cores, we have to ch change this command line. See how it says slash bin slash zip slash user da da da. We're going to change the zip. Now I've tested this. We're going to use MAME 2010. So we added our game. We changed the command line, added our module. All we have left to do is synchronize the game to the SNES Classic. So we're going to turn that on. Takes a couple minutes. So see, here's some other stuff I'm working on. I'm getting those requests done. I have about 33 games in the backlog that I'm I'm trying to get done here. So it's 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 taking me a little bit of time only because I was uh I was out of town this weekend. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, hit synchronize selected games with the the uh, SNES SNES Mini. So in the arcade is where I put all my games. It's probably already going to be in there because I've added it once already. So then you hit OK. It's going to build a folder structure and it's going to upload the games to the SNES Classic. This should only take a couple minutes. Um, you have to be careful. Some of these games are really big, like Street Fighter 3 in my other video. That was something between 30 and 60 megs. That's going to take almost a quarter of your space. And then if you start adding save states, start adding box art, it's going to be even worse. Like when I added all these, I was at 180 megabytes. Then when I got box art for all of them, it shot me up to 280. That's why they're all not checked here because I couldn't fit them all. So if I go to check these other arcade games, we're way past it. So now we have our game over on our SNES Classic. We're going to go over there and see how it works. Okay, here we are on my... SNES Mini. So let's take a look at Turtles in Time and see if that's going to run. Alright, we got a bunch of other arcade games here. Let's see. Teenage, oh, right there. Turtles in Time Arcade. Let's see if this is going to run. 
Sometimes it takes a couple minutes. There we go. <clears throat> Usually if anything pops up and you don't get the C7 error or you don't just get kicked back to uh, your regular screen, then you're okay. All right, so here you go. Look. Let's put some uh, some quarters in there. All right, start the game up. I've always thought that Mikey, he was my favorite, Michelangelo. This is April of the morning. And the Statue of Liberty's gone. Hey, Crank, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. Okay, bloated beanbag. So yeah, actually, it might sound kind of choppy, but actually this this is running really, really well. Um, this will run on FBA 2012, but the sound is so distorted and and, and, and bad, it's it's not, not a good idea to run it from there. But it seems to run really well on here. So let's take, take care of these foot soldiers. Always like that attack where you get to slam them back and forth. Get some cones. Oh, we got the ball. Thank you for your help, ball. Took care of some of those guys for us. Oh, kicking in the butt. That's that's cheating. That attack was always nice too. We hit the the jumping attack button together. Hit the little boom. Oh, pizza time. Yes, pizza. Of course. This is a turtle, and we have to have our pizza. I like how you can throw them at the screen too. That's always that was always fun. I can't remember how you do it though. I think you just kind of get to a throw animation and they just go. So the sound isn't perfect, but I just trust me. It, it was. It, this is a hundred times better than when I was trying to run this on the other emulator. I think. Can we, yes, we can. Didn't really help us, but that's okay. What else is going on in the stage? Where are we? On a building that hasn't been built yet? That's kind of... Oh, we got the, the butter knives. We brought out the big guns and the tuning forks. There's some ninja stars. I recognize those. Oh. Dead. But okay. Because, you know, arcade games. As many lives as you want. Just play till you're... Till you're... Prepare to die. Oh, wow. Play till your thumbs hurt. Frank's not playing around. He's really... I don't remember that in the Super Nintendo version. Which makes sense, because, you know, it's... Oh, nice butt kick again. Who's the boss? Faster Stockman, I think, in this one? Yeah. What is different on the Super Nintendo version was that when the game first starts, they say, Big Apple, 3 a.m., and I didn't hear that on this. So I don't know if that's an emulation thing or if the arcade version just doesn't do that. I've actually never played this in the arcade, but I did own it when I was a kid. My original Super Nintendo. So yeah, there you go. It's running very well. Um, oh, wrong button. And we we added more more quarters on accident. So there you go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in Time Arcade works very well with the MAME 2010 core. Like I said, I'll provide that for you guys. Um, if you have any other recommendations, feel free to put them in the comments or email or tweet me or whatever, however you want to get a hold of me. Um, and I'm added to the list. So yeah, that was it. It runs. Thank you for the request. Send some more in and I'll see you guys on the next video. So if you guys want to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments, you can feel free to follow my Twitter at Patton Place. Or if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at my Gmail account, patentplaysgames at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.